Steve, yeah, the man. star, is mixing up five gallons of Ready Seal. Same product that was put on when the fence was built. Oil based, natural cedar color. Looks darker here, but when it goes on, it's just a nice glowing gold. Bayside Landscaping, the builders of this cedar privacy fence, have returned to seal it again. This product holds up really good. It's sunny, dry in the mid to upper 70s with a light breeze. Perfect for applying sealer. And they're gonna be spraying it on, so we moved all of our outdoor vehicles about a block away, upwind. And the work begins. Teamwork. First time they did this, it was breezy. Bit of a wind, but it's variable. Variable wind. Well, it's getting their vehicles. The entire front facing side of the fence has been sealed. This is why I'm wearing a mask. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I just got a blast of overspray. You just don't know where it's going to go. The spray is swirling around on the inside of the fence when the wind is still, making it uncomfortable for the workers. Yeah, now it's swirling the other way, almost like a little whirlwind. The dynamics are changed because of the shape of the fence. Pretty nasty at times with that overspray as the wind is fickle and the fence is changing the direction of the wind inside especially. Best to keep your distance and wear a mask. Ooh, that's a strong smell. I don't know how they do it. Oh, here it comes. Oof. I have to clean my lens. Oh, 
So what does that sound mean? Into the bucket. Oh, into the bucket. Five gallons have been expended. Yeah, well, when you the first coating, wasn't it like two five-gallon buckets? It's been, what, five years? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, well, I'll have to check my YouTube video. My yeah? You use this product a lot now, huh? I do. I use it all the time. It's great on fences. Well, there you go. Hold Ready up. seal? Ready seal. That's right. <laughs> Typically, we get wind in the afternoons, and it's hardly moving at all perfect conditions for spraying the sealer on especially here in Dungeness Valley it can get really windy you can have marine air move in and get foggy and misty the wood was dry and ready to receive the seal five gallons of it is this the last job for the week yeah, that it is. oh wow well thanks for hanging on and taking care of this yes, on a Friday afternoon Why do the little window slats look a little bit lighter in color? Because they haven't been, been sprayed done. yet. Oh, okay. Get sprayed. We got a hand. Yeah, that. that's what Steve's doing on the other side. Thing. He's getting the. Uh... Oh, okay. So the top of the fence, the rail and the slats, the window slats, are done by hand because it's not effective to use the spray. It just would go through the windows. This is where they started, and it will take uh, several days to dry out. Almost done. Got to get the top top now. Oh, where the seagulls sit. Is it just this small section? Final section for sealing. Oh, well, for the top round? Yeah. yeah. Great job, guys. It already looks a lot better. Uh oh. You can take the rest of the day off. <laughs> Happy Friday. Yeah, thank you, Matthew. Thank you. Approaching sunset, an hour after the completion of sealing of this fence, this is what it looks like. I'm reinstalling the LED rope light on the privacy fence after it has been resealed. These nylon hangers and stainless steel screws work pretty good. I'm working on tightening up the last section. <laughs> The last 50 feet, that is. The power screwdriver is too aggressive in this cedar, so I'm doing it by hand. I got it mounted as close to the slats as possible. Shows through the, the front side of the fence and on the street and on the yard at the same time. Those are the holes I drilled last year, five years ago. Mm, I see the bent honeybees. Oh, that's a hornet. Yeah. They're flying all over the place. They know it's the end of season. I first strung it loosely so I could get an idea where the beginning and end should start. It really helps to have the lights on, especially as it's getting towards sunset. I gave her the empty nut container to play with. I finished reinstalling the LED rope lights just before sunset. Perfect timing. It's a process, and I was short about 10 screws, but I found enough screws in my spare parts bin to do the job. I love our resealed fence. Beautiful sunrise this morning. I got the lights on perfectly straight this time. Our privacy fence with the lights frames our view of the mountains. <laughs>